gonna get off up here at exit one. That way I could slide the tandem to hole number five. At this exit you got two pilots, one on the left and one on the right. You also have a rest area on the right, on the um, left hand side. I'm gonna go to the pilot over here on the right hand side. I'm not going to stay long, I'm just stopping to slide the tandem and I'll be out. If I'm in an area where it's a wide shoulder, like if I'm coming down 75, I'll slide it at the um the rest area at the state line. But over here you don't have a rest area at the state line. I'm on 95. So I'll do it. I'll do it in the truck stop and then I head out. the pins go in and then I go up in there and slide up. 
And when I slide it, why do I go all the way back and then I move forward and then I come back down there and check it, see where it's at. five I put this mark right here that way I know where the pin is so the pin right now is right here what I'm gonna do is release the air and when I go inside there I move forward and the pin will drop in this hole right here Slides always keep your your trailer knob out. Once you release the pin back there, keep your trailer knob out. Cause if you push in the trailer knob, you're gonna push the pins back up. Okay, I just hear it locked in. I always do a tug test and rock it to make sure it's in there. Now double check, make sure it's in there. One, two, three, four, five. You see it's in number five, right where I put the mark on the rail. That way I know where the pin is. All right, so that's where I'm at. A lot of times when you do that, since you're already stuck, you could just walk around your truck and check your tires, make sure your tire's good. stop so it don't take much to just walk around check all your tires make sure they're good that way if anything you could catch it while you're right here instead of when you go back on the road so that's my only reason to stop here in order to get legal for Florida. So this is scale ticket when I legal for the other states. So I don't need this one no more. This is scale ticket that show I'm legal for Florida in hole number five. And I put a note on the back of it say move to number five. Just in case I have forget which hole it was in when I scale it to get this ticket. And always write your information down. If you know you're the type of person that forget a lot, write down your information. That way you don't forget. Five miles to get to my delivery. Head southwest towards Scrubby Bluff Road. Right now I'm at exit 
exit number one right here where the two pilots are. When I leave from here, I have the Florida Agriculture Station. Then after that, I have the Saltbound Waste Station. for Florida but the only thing is the truck not going to ride as comfortable like it did before because when I was in number 13 the weight was more balanced it was just about even turn left on the Sprouty Bluff Road in 600 feet turn right onto the ramp to I-95 South now I'm in, ho I'm in hole number five, the weight not even. I have more weight on the trailer than I have on the tractor. So that going to make the... Turn right onto the ramp to I-95 South. When you ride a lot like that, you wear down your trailer tires fast. There's a lot of weight on the trailer. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-95 South. And you also feel like you're pulling the load instead of carrying the load. to the side like that truck that's sitting on the side right there and they'll check your paperwork make sure everything legal to either come into Florida or come out of Florida with their livestock sometimes they're not even at the window and they just wave you on by Trailer, they just 
just automatically assume that you're not hauling anything that's live. So they just wave you on by. you they'll turn you around 
and bring you back up to the scale. In a situation like this, if you coming into Florida and you're overweight, you could get off of the road. I ain't gonna tell you what exit it is. Look on your map and you could figure it out. One of them exits coming out of Georgia, you could get off 95 and you could go around that Florida scale. And you could come back on out there where the pilot is, almost in Jacksonville. Not the pilot, but the lows. At the top of Jacksonville, you could come back on right there or you could come back on at any one of these ex these um, entrance down here. Well, if you're gonna do that, you gotta make it look, you can't make it look like you got off to go around the scale. Get off further up from the scale. Don't get off at the last exit before the scale. And then when you're coming back on, don't come on at the first exit soon as you pass the scale. Come on at the next ex at the next entrance down. That way it don't really look like you went around the scale and come right back on. And a lot of these exits right before the scale, they have a camera there. So sometimes they're watching the cameras on the exit to see if you came off right there to go around the scale. It's a lot to learn out uh, here. It's not just about holding the steering wheel and going down the road and talking about unnecessary things on the phone. Always find people to talk to that encourage you to move higher, that encourage you to do better. you to progress out here there's a lot that you gotta know being out here